hair is going up everything is going up so you want to make sure that you too are able to keep up you by investing your money you you cannot not invest right i mean you can but your finances are gonna you know it's gonna take a hit on you it's gonna take a toll on you financially um because that's how the wealthy people are getting wealthy they're just they're investing their money and you can't have the mindset that only wealthy people invest like you too are a wealthy person you just have to believe it and you have to start where you are and then eventually your wealth will start to grow. What's going on y'all? My name is Candace Latham and if you're new around here, this channel is all about helping you defy the odds, think powerfully and build wealth. Let me break that down real quick before I jump into today's topic. Defy the odds means if you're anything like me, I grew up in the inner city and there were a lot of obstacles that were stacked against me that I had to defy those odds. Fun fact, my freshman year, of high school I still remember my teacher coming in and telling us most of you will not graduate you will end up dead in prison or pregnant like that was the first day of my freshman year in high school so just to give you a little bit of background about what I, <laughs> what I had to overcome right um, so I overcame those odds right so once I overcame the odds then I had to start thinking powerfully and not let my environment that I was in affect me. And, and I had to believe that more was possible for me. So now that I started thinking powerfully, different life was possible for me. Now I can start having a different vision and I can start taking actions to build wealth. So that is what the, why the model on this channel, the model that I live by really, and I want to inspire you to live by too, to defy the odds, think powerfully and build wealth. Now today we're going to get into all about inflation you know speaking of building wealth we all want to build wealth we should all want to build wealth the way that the world is set up a lot of things are going up as a matter of fact i went to sephora i went to the mall yesterday because i'm going to a wedding soon in new jersey so i had to get a dress and i had to get some makeup i had to get just there's a lot of things that come with being a woman and if you follow me on instagram which you should be i'm at kind at prosper with candace underscore i'll leave it somewhere in here but I was just talking about how the cost of a woman is going up. I feel like the cost of being a woman is going up, but it's not just about being a woman. Everything is really going up due to inflation. And I'm going to, I found an article on that as well, but I did want to share some details that I found from Personal Finance Club on Instagram. If you're looking for an easy way to start investing, Personal Finance Club on Instagram, they give the best, easy, simple breakdown tips on how to get started. And they have these cool graphics showing you how to do it as well. So there's a graphic I'll put on the screen. It says the cost of inflation. And it's just talking about there's no perfectly safe investment. Cash is always losing value to inflation. So you have to invest your money in order to stay ahead. For example, you know how back in the day, like a bag of chips was 25 cents. Or if you went to the corner store, a bag of fruities, you can get a fruities for a penny or a bag of fruities for you know a lower price. But now a bag of chips is like went up 50 cents. A dollar, those same bag of chips. And that's what inflation is. It's the cost of goods rising every year. And in this post, he says that over the last 40 years in the U.S., inflation has averaged, has averaged about 2.9% per year. So that means every year your dollar buys 2.9% less stuff than it did the previous year. And so the good news is that all of these companies that keep increasing their prices and their goods and services, they keep generating profits and growing each year. So that is why if you put your money in them, if you invest in them, your money is able to surpass the inflation amount. So that's why we really can't just put our money in a savings account or put it under our mattress because it's not really going to grow that way. And everything else is getting more expensive. That's in the mall. So I was in Sephora. I had to get a foundation. I had to get some blush. I ended up getting a lipstick. Um, but I saw a lipstick there that was $34 and I was just like, oh my gosh, I know there's levels, you know, there's, there's $5 lipsticks, there's $10 lipsticks, there's $20, there's 30, but I was like, oh my gosh, somebody's paying $34 for a lipstick. And that's just a lipstick. And there's so much other things that we need. So every time I see that meme saying that outside is expensive, they not lying. Like it's a joke. It's funny, but it's really like outside is really expensive. Even if you're going to an event, like you need to get a dress, I need to get my hair, I need to get makeup, I need to get, you know, lashes maybe, I need to get shoes, a purse if I don't have it already. There's just a lot. Then you got to have to travel. 
you got the plane, the hotel, and even travel and lodging has gone up since the pandemic. Because I know we were saying like in the pandemic, we were able to save so much money. Everybody was just like saving money because they were in the house. A lot of things were shutting down. Now that the world is opening back up and people are traveling, I was at the nail salon and I saw that on the news for the 4th of July weekend, more people were traveling. So the flight prices were going up. The cost of hotels were going up. Gas prices were going up. So since everybody is going back into the world, things are going up in price. So if you don't invest your money, if you're not even investing your money today and things are already expensive to you, imagine 20 years from now how the cost of things are going to be. So you have to invest your money today so that you can even keep up. Because it's like, if you're already struggling right now and you're not investing your money, imagine 10 years from now. Imagine even five years from now. Like every day the world is spinning, things are getting pricier. So you have to be able to invest your money so that you can keep up. And I'm not saying you have to invest thousands of dollars. You can get started and start with a small habit today. And then once those habits get rolling, after a while, you'll be able to be in a position to invest more money. I was able to invest $1,000 this month but that's because, okay, so <laughs> updates. I did end up paying off my debt, all my debt. So I am currently debt-free now. Yay! So I do have more disposable income now, thanks to being debt-free. Um, but I also did receive a bonus. So I was able to receive a bonus from work and I put $1,000 into an investment. And then I also did put some money towards our honeymoon savings because we are getting married in October 15th, 101 days away. Ah, time is moving. Um, so what was I saying? <laughs> I, I lost my train of thought. I was saying, okay, so I'm back before getting ready. I see. I just get excited. Just thinking about the wedding. Um, okay. I was talking about costs going up, keeping up. Oh, those habits. That's you want to make sure that you're in the habit of even just investing a small amount. I always wasn't able to invest a thousand dollars or $500 a month. I had to build little by little. There was some months I could only invest $50 and then it was like, I could invest a hundred dollars. And then I was like, okay, I got to skip a month so I can put some towards my debt. Oh, let me skip a month. Cause I got to put this towards saving. Oh, but now next month I could put 200. So every season of your life, you may not be able to reach your goals or put as much money towards your financial goals that you want to, but it doesn't mean that that season isn't playing a role in your overall life. All the seasons in your life add up to something. And yesterday I posted a, a tweet from John Henry and it said that your life is a, a mirror of what you focused on years ago. And I thought that was so true because like I'm telling you, I haven't always been able to invest a thousand dollars a month or $500 a month. I had to start small. And because I had the idea to even start it all, because I was even taking little baby steps at first, I got the knowledge, I started applying it. And even if it was a small step, that small step in that season still brought me to where I am today. So it's all adding up. Please don't think that, that you know what, you can't start investing because you don't have a lot of money. You can start investing today, right? You can start investing with a small amount of money and then work your way up to larger amounts because it's so important. Inflation is going up. Prices are going up. Outside is truly expensive. This article, it says you can expect to, and this is an article from makeit.cnbc.com. So it says consumer goods. Inflation erodes the average person's purchasing power. Um, and everyone's, everyone's rate of inflation is different because we all buy different products and services. But you can expect to pay more for used cars and car rentals, furniture, airline fees, airline fares, hotels, everyday essentials like groceries and gas. Used car prices rose. 29.7% compared with last year. 27, 29.7%. Got my used car and before the pandemic hit. God is so good because he always just be coming through at the right time. I moved in 2019, December 2019. I got my car probably in February of 2020 and then the pandemic hit. So I was able to get my used car for about like 5000 in the $5,000 range. But if I had waited a whole year after the pandemic was over, the price would have dropped, would have rose to 29.7% higher. So, oh, thank God. God is always good. God is present. God listens. God answers. Um, so another example is clothing costs 5.6% more and housing and remodeling supplies are also sky high. 
So there's a huge demand in, you know, remodeling supplies, furniture's going up. So clothing costs 5.6% more. So everything is going up today. So if your money isn't able to, if you're not making able to make more money, you're just, you're not going to be able to, you know, keep up because things are going up, but your income's staying the same. So that's why it's important that we're able to make more money, but also we're able to import. It's also important that we're able to invest our money so that we can keep up so that our, when we're investing our money, the investments are growing at a faster rate than the inflation is. So that when we get older, our money is has grown a lot further than it would if it was in a savings account or if it was just hidden under our mattress. So I cannot stress this enough. Please, please, please start investing today because, you know, it's important. I'll leave the resource, the investing resources that I have. But honestly, I keep things pretty simple these days. I just mostly, a lot of my investments these days, a lot of my investments now is just in VSTAX, V-S-T-A-X, which is the Vanguard Total Total Stock Market Index Fund. It's a mutual fund. I hope I got that right. But I just invest a large, I get money and I put it towards this VSTAX fund and then that's it. So you really just have to do your research and decide, you know, which kind of brokerage account would you like to open up your investment in? How much can you get started to invest what are the fees included to opening the account? Does Do the accounts have certain restrictions? Like if you invest in this fund, you first need a minimum of $3,000 or $1,000. Figure out what those minimums are. Um, and like I said, per, follow the Personal Finance Club. Follow Personal Finance Club on Instagram. They have a great, you know, investment tips. What I want to come on to say to you guys today is make sure that you are investing your money and that every season it's going to look different for you. But don't get discouraged. You know, I wasn't always able to invest a lot of money but that did not stop me from getting to where I am today. Everything plays a role. Everything plays a purpose. Your habits are not in vain. Everything adds up. And a personal finance is a lot like losing weight. It's a lot like working out. Like you don't see the results right away. Every day you got to keep showing up. And then over time, slowly but surely, you start to see the progress. Then you feel good. Then you feel more motivated. You're like, oh, I'm looking good. Skin glowing. Fat falling off. Tummy getting flat. Like, you know, you just feel good about yourself. And the same thing is true about your finances. Once you get into the habit of seeing the progress that you're making over time, you're like, yo, my finances are really growing. Now they start to grow even faster because of compound interest. So definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you guys are investing your money. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below for, so the YouTube algorithm can continue to you know show my video to more people i need y'all help you know i really can't do this alone but i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video um continue to defy the odds continue to think powerfully continue to build wealth and if you're not already on my email list make sure you guys sign up because i am cooking up something behind the scenes i'm still working on something special for you guys to help you make sure that you're not only just focusing on you know the external money moves but you're also making sure you're doing the internal work working on your thoughts and at the same time because your thoughts are super powerful. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, I'm Kim Latham and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Even the cost of hair is going up, right? The black community, I saw a tweet the other day. It said the black, we need to have a discussion in the black community about how the cost of, of hair, of, the, of braiding is going up. Getting my hair done back in the day, I don't know if it's because I just had more friends that knew how to braid and do hair. Like it was a lower price. But now I get my hair done. It's like, a, this one was like a hundred and something dollars, but it's not going to last me that long. I just got this is like, a, like maybe two weeks ago and it's already almost time to come out. But when I get like the braids that are a little bit smaller, even that costs like 200 something dollars plus the tip. So yeah, even hair is going up. Everything is going up. So you want to make sure that you too are able to keep up you by investing your money. You, you cannot not invest, right? I mean, you can, but your finances are going to, you know, it's going to take a hit on you. It's going to take a toll on you financially um, because that's how the wealthy people are getting wealthy. They're just, they're investing their money. And you can't have the mindset that only wealthy people invest. Like you too are a wealthy person. You just have to believe it and you have to start where you are. And then eventually your wealth will start to grow. That's all I have for y'all. I'm, I'm really got to get out of here. I got a mentee meeting coming up soon. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all later.